In the name of Jesus. Oh, Father, whatever we are going to do here today, let it not be in vain. Let it not be in vain. Let us not do it in flesh. Let the Spirit of the Lord direct us. Let the Spirit of the Lord direct us. In the name of Jesus. Father, as we move, oh God, move in our direction. As we go, Father, go with us, oh God. As we start, Father, start with us, oh Lord. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. We are going to commit all the activities. From the TNT down to the men, the women ministration, the children ministration, and all that activities that will be going on, that the Lord of just will take perfect control, that nothing casualty will happen here this evening. Open your mouth as we pray. Say, blood of Jesus. Take control upon the TM team, upon the pastors, upon the act bearers, upon the members, upon the children, upon the song administration, upon the instrument. Holy Spirit, take control. Blood of Jesus, 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 take control. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray that any power assigned from the pit of air to distract today's program. Let the power of God locate them wherever they are. We'll pray, our mother, pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, any power assigned from the pit of air to distract today's program. Holy Ghost and fire, locate them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, locate them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, locate them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, locate them wherever they are. In the name of Jesus, in Jesus' name we pray. In Jesus' name we pray. We are still going to pray that as many that will be in this program today, that they will never go back home the same way they come. Open your mouth and pray that they are coming to meet God here. Say, Father, 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 because I'm here today in this program, because I'm here today in this program, I will never go back home the same way I come. Let me tell you, there are some people with bodies uh, that don't know how to explain it to. They don't know where to put this body. But the Bible says, it says, cast your body upon me. Hallelujah. You are putting your body under the feet of the Lord Jesus Christ. As you are here, it's not by accident. You are going to pray, say, Father, I will never live here the same way I come. Open your mouth and pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I pray and I declare in your name, in your power, that we never live here the same way I come. In the name of Jesus, your children will never go the same way they come. In the name of Jesus, they will never go the same way they come. In the name of Jesus, Spirit of the Lord, take control upon their life. In Jesus' mighty name, we pray. There are some people with heavy hearts. We are going to pray. I don't know the situation that brought you to this place today, but I want to tell you, today being the last day of this MOV, and it was tax movement of victory from higher ground. Hallelujah. As you are come, as you are here today, I pray for you. You will never go back on the same way you come in the name of Jesus. Every power that has swallowed you from your house to come and steal from you. This hour, they are disappearing from your presence in the name of Jesus. I pray, oh God, that the light of God will shine upon you in the name of Jesus. We are going to pray for the act bearer fellowship. Hallelujah. Say, Father, say, Father, say, Father, empower the act bearers. Empower the act bearers. Let their voices be heard all over the world. Can we just open our mouth and pray? Father, in the name of Jesus. Lord, empower the act bearers. Let their voice be heard all over the world. Let our voice be heard all over the world. Let our voice be heard all over the world. In the name of Jesus, in the north, and the south, and the west, and the east. Let our voice be heard. Let our voice be heard. Let our voice be heard. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to cover the altar with the blood of Jesus. The chair and the environment generally with the blood of Jesus. So we sprinkle the blood of Jesus. Begin to sprinkle the blood just upon the altar, upon the chairs, upon the instruments, upon the choirs, upon the pastors, 
upon the members begin to sprinkle the blood of Jesus. We 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 sprinkle the blood of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. We are going to pray, say, Father, because I am here today, touch me with your mighty hand. Open your mouth and pray. Father, because I am here today, touch me with your mighty hand. 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 Because I am here today, Father, touch me with your mighty hand. Somebody, wherever you are, can you lift up your hands this Amen. evening and begin to exalt the name of the Lord in this place? Father, we exalt you. Father, we give you all the glory. Father, we exalt you, God. We exalt you, God. We exalt you, God. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. We exalt you, Jesus. Your love is kind. Your love is patient. You feel my. With so much peace and joy, oh, you're amazing. You make my life feel brand new. Jesus, you love me too much, oh, yeah, too much, oh. Oh, Jesus, you love me too much, oh, yeah, too much, oh.
the last uh, MOV of this year, I expect you to be more louder than this because you should be grateful to God for something special this year. So somebody, if you are excited and you know that the Lord that has started the MOV with you from the year of January <laughs> and still kept you alive till now, some people have gone in this year but you are still alive to meet the last MOP of this year. Oh my God. Somebody, wherever you are, are you excited? Can you give the Lord a shout of praise? Hey, hey, hey. Give the Lord a shout of praise. All right, bring it up, bring it up. Bring it up. Let's not go there. Can you talk to your neighbor? How big is your God this morning? This evening? Break it out. God bless you. God bless you. Can you talk to your neighbor? How big is your God is? Can you look at your neighbor? Ask him how big your God is. What is your neighbor's response? Is your neighbor responding? If your neighbor is not responding, leave your neighbor and meet another neighbor. Before then, the Bible says, In him we live, come on. In here we move, semicolon. In here we have our being, full stop. Movement in life is the proof that you are living in God. Somebody, if you know that you are living in God, can you give the Lord a, a shout of praise? All right, 
back, let's go back, let's go back, let's go back. Tell your neighbor how big your God is. Tell your neighbor how big is your God is this evening. How big is your God this evening? Oh yeah, let's go. Keep your hands like this, come on. Your hands like this. Are you ready? Hey, one, two, hey. Oh, two, I can see the guy in here. Oh, two, I can see the guy in here. Question tonight. How many of you are expecting something huge from God before this year runs out? Can I see your hands in the air? 
Can I see your hands in the air? You are expecting something you from God before this year runs out. Let me see your hands in the air. Are you ready? Oh yeah, your hands are gonna go like this. Oh yeah, one, two, three, go. Break it away. Break it up. Are you sure you really want that something huge from God? Are you sure? Now you're gonna speak the word. You're gonna prophesy the word. I need to come to pass. Are you ready? Something huge. Something, something huge. Something huge. Something, something huge. Oh, yes. Go ahead. Something huge. Let's go. Say something huge. Remember my song again. If you remember the song, are you singing loud tonight? Hey, Mama God, give me master. You don't make me the one that sing it. Mama God, give me master. Oh, 
sola fire. Do I have your robot people in this house? So sunny, like what in my ball, what in my ball. That is my signal. Tell your neighbor, say what in my ball. Tell your neighbor, what? See, my ball. What in my ball, what in my ball. Go look at that rock in me. Let's go, what in my ball. What's in my ball? What's in my ball? Only what the rocks in me. If you love God, give the Lord a shout.
After this program, Johnny, we'll see in camera, okay? <laughs> see me later. Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Praise the Lord! Hallelujah! Glory to God! Amen. You know, today has actually been praise the Lord, praise the Lord, praise the Lord. Today is indeed praise. blessed. Glory to God. All right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. On behalf of the Dagogo Pauline Foundation... It is our privilege and honor to welcome every one of you to this momentous occasion. Give a big hand to the Lord. It is the moment of victory, the season finale. Glory to God. Tonight, we gather here not only to celebrate the culmination of our incredible journey, but also to recognize and honor the extraordinary achievements of the sub-ministries of the Jagogo Pauline Foundation, who have overcome immersed challenges to achieve remarkable victories in their lives. Glory to God. Hallelujah. Dagogo Pauline Foundation has always been dedicated to empowering and inspiring individuals to reach their full potential, regardless of the obstacles they may face. And tonight, we we'll proudly showcase the fruit of our collective effort and the significant impact we have had on the lives of those we serve. While the road to victory is often filled with trials and tribulation, it is the unwavering spirit, resilience, and determination of our dear man of God, our early esteemed senior pastor, Dagogo Pauline, and his ever amazing wife, Pastor Mrs. Fola Shade, Dagogo Pauline. I can't hear your claps. Come on, give the Lord a big hand. Our Very stories are a testament to the human spirit's capacity to overcome adversity and achieve greatness. Tonight, we shine a spotlight on our accomplishments and celebrate the triumphs of courageous individuals who have stayed with us this far. Each victory not only represents personal growth and achievement, but also serves as a beacon of hope and inspiration for others facing their challenges. The Moment of Victory season finale, tagged on higher ground, promises to be life-changing and blissful, bringing down the glory of God to touch, bless, and empower all those 
who stay connected to, his, to these activities and segments. In honor to our dear man of God, for the privilege and advantage to be part of this optimum victorium, I will now ask that we all stand. Let's be standing. Be on your feet. Let's all be on our feet. Are we tired? We've not even started. And now, we shall all, in one accord, celebrate our dear man of God, the president of the Dagogo Pauline Foundation, Woo. Pastor or Doctor, Doctor Pastor Dagogo Pauline. And you know, as, as we were thought also today, um, the former saying used to be, be behind, I guess, behind every successful man, there is a woman. Am I right? There is a woman, right? So today, it's, it's, it's now what? Beside, right? So, beside our humble, amazing father in the Lord, Pastor yeah. Dr. Dagogo Pauline, yeah. is... Pastor Mrs. No, Doctor Mrs. Fola Sade Dagogo Pole. Come on. Thank you so much, sir. Thank you so much, Ma. Hallelujah. Amen. It's, it's indeed to celebrate the ones we love. Kindly be seated. Can be seated, please. Thank you. Would, you. would you, do you think we're missing something? Have we missed something? No. Did we miss something? We missed something. Would you stand up once more? <laughs> stand up once more. Okay, standing now is an exercise. Stand up once more. Everybody stand. Stand. You see, I'm with the mic. I call okay, the shots. Sir, now celebrate stand. yourself. Celebrate Ooh. yourself. The more you celebrate yourself, the more you get successful in this month. The more blessings are coming your way. Okay. Okay? The more money is coming your way. Come on. The more you shout and jump, the more you experience victory. The more you shout and jump, Woo! the more you will experience success. Woo! See, uh, our apostle will say, if somebody by your side is not jumping or shouting, the person is a suspect. So find that one person that seems to be a suspect. Are you jumping and shouting? 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 It's the Woo! moment of victory. Woo! Season finale for the year 2023. Come on, give the Lord a shout. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Thank you. Thank you very much. You can be seated. Praise the Lord. So it's in split seconds. Hallelujah. So you, you, you have to get familiar with seeing my face, right? How many of you are excited to see me? That's, your, that, that, that's, that's you. Are you excited to see me? Ah, Jesus. Are you guys excited to see me? See, they say many are cold. Mama, are you excited to see me? Oh, God. Nothing else. Johnny, you know, Johnny, I think we are brothers. So much. I, I've not been thinking about it. I love you. Ah. Praise the Lord. For those of you that are already thinking evil, the Lord will judge you. It's natural. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. And right about now, we're going to welcome one of our very own to present to us in spoken words. He is no other person but our highly esteemed Brother Collins. Give him a big hand. Praise God, church. I'm not just here to give a spoken word, but I'm here to minister to your soul. I want you to listen and apply it. It will work for you. This is the grand finale of this season on higher ground. And on 31st night when I was praying, God told me this year is higher ground. And I came here, I met the team on higher ground. So as you listen... Don't just clap, but let it edify your soul. Thank you. I title this, Your Comfort Zone. The more comfortable you are, is the less you achieve. 
And the less comfortable you are, is the more you achieve. The eagle is a master of change management. The mother eagle carefully prepares her, eggs, her nest for her eggs. And when it's time for the eaglet to fly, she begins to remove the comfort layers from the nest, exposing the bricks and sticks. Exposing the bricks and sticks. Then she throws them out of the nest. And out of fear, the eaglet jumps back into the nest, bleeding and shrieking from the bricks and sticks in the nest. But the mother eagle doesn't yield. Now, to some people here, it might seem heartless, but there is a method to this madness. She does that repeatedly until the eaglet starts flapping its wings, getting stronger with each flap, and then swoosh away it goes into the air, flying higher and higher, rising above its pains and challenges. You must not become complacent in life, clinging to the old and familiar. If you want to grow, you must be willing to change. If you want to be successful in life, you must be willing to step out of your comfort zone. The thorns and pains in life are there to tell you that there is nothing more for you where you are. And it is time to move on, grow and spread your wings. The people who genuinely care about you will not encourage you in your slothfulness and fear. Though their actions may seem unkind, but it is for your ultimate good. No pain, no gain, they say. Many people want success, but without the fear, challenges, obstacles, trials, temptations, disappointments that comes with it. I know this is difficult for you to say, but I say to God always, don't hear my cry. Don't see my tears. Don't pity me. Push me. I want to fly. I know if I'm going too far, you will come under to carry me. If the mother eagle throws the eaglet out of the nest and they go too far to fall, the mother eagle goes under to carry them. And that is what God will do for you. Don't pity me. Push me to the place of my destiny. Don't pity me. Push me to the place of my glory. Avoid being a mediocre in life. Take responsibility for your life. And do exploit. Thank you. If you can follow me. So I'm very sure he wanted to inform you in the last segment that we are currently live on Facebook, we're live on Instagram, so you can just log on to um, the Google Pauline Foundation and uh, catch up. You can share the link, let your friends, families, your frenemies, those that you love, those that you hate, know what is happening here today. Now, celebrate him once more. You know, um, back in those days, in the early 1897, those days, I the kind of spoken words I used to do. As I'm talking, the congregation is crying. But I decided to, all things are passed away. So, should, should, should I, would you like to hear me? You people hate me. Oh. Sir? <clears throat> oh, <laughs> I just want you to cry small. No, please now cry now. Okay. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. I'll come back. Don't worry, I'll go and rehearse something. I'll come back. Fear my return. I tell you. Fear my return. Praise the Lord. So, um, I believe the kids are supposed to be ready now. But, Okay. Okay, so um, they still have one or two to sort out. So right about now, I would like to bring up on stage the best choir in the whole universe. 
This choir has traveled to all continents to minister with their sonorous voice. They are no other than the... You want to hear it? Start clapping. Start clapping. Ladies and gentlemen, I bring to you on stage... The DNT Keep clapping, keep clapping. Come on, keep clapping. Praise the Lord. We are not here to entertain us. Let's stop looking at ourselves like this. Praise the Lord. If you know your mouth is not paining you, praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We don't say hallelujah in top of peace assembly. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah is free of charge. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. If you're happy to be in the last MOV of the year, can you jump on your feet and give God a holy ghost praise? Okay, before we start, I would like to say, Daddy, God bless you. Mommy, thank you very much for impacting so much in us. And today, it is reflecting in us. Are you happy for the TMT? If you're happy for us, can you make some noise? Okay, there's this song we want to do. It's titled Matthew 28. We want to sing the word of God. Destroy this temple... And in three days, I will raise it up. Are ready? Oh, what a soul in life right here. 
one angel of the Lord appeared unto the woman and he said, Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. So I know. He is not he. He is not he. He is not he. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not he. For he has risen as he said. See the place the Lord lay. Let's review the story one more time. The angel appeared unto the woman and said, Fear not. Fear not. Fear not. For I know. He is not here. He is not here. He is not here. Why are you looking for the living among the dead? He is not here. For he has risen as he said. See the place the Lord lay. Remember how he used to say why he was yet in Galilee. What did he say, Sopranos? Come on. this evening and um, in the same spirit want us to join our voices together and worship God this evening because God has been so good to us in so many ways he has been so wonderful to us come on lift up your voices wave your hands to Jesus and worship him this evening come on give him glory this evening worship him because it is down to the worship
seas and glory for it. Help me sing. Come on, let the church sing. For he is good. His mercy is endurance. His mercy is I can't hear you singing. Say, for he is good. His mercy is endurance forever. Say, for he is good. His mercies. Yeah, we can do this one more time. Say, for he is good. In his mercies. Come on, CMT, help me sing. Say, for he is good. Oh, yeah.
something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. Oh, oh, I will love the name Jesus. Oh, I will love the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. I know. Come on, Santa, help me sing. Say something about the name Jesus. Something about the name Jesus. It is the sweetest name. And this last MOV, I want to tell you who you are. Because sometimes the situations around us make us feel what we are not. Amen? Until you realize who you are, you cannot become what you are meant to be. And it starts from the mind, from the inside. You have to know who you are first. 
so that you can become what you ought to be. It's working now. that we come out from these places, I'll begin to wonder, how did we get here? Why were we from these places? In the beginning, the Bible says the earth was without what form and what void. There was nothing. There was darkness in the face of the earth. But what happened? God spoke a word, and what happened? As he spoke a word, what happened? He said, let there be light, and what happened? There was light. He spoke the word. He spoke it. You must learn to speak positive things to your life. You must. Because our environment sometimes can make us feel we are meant to be down. We are meant to be poor. We are meant to be broke. We are meant to stay beggarly. No. You must on daily basis speak life to yourself. Amen? Speak life. No matter what you're going through, speak life. God spoke and the earth came into being. He spoke. Anything that will make you change your confession run away from it, cut it off from your life. Whether it's a human being or a circumstance, run away from it. The reason is because you are meant to speak life to yourself. Amen? You are meant to speak life. You are meant to speak positivity over your destiny. You are meant to be the prophet of yourself first. Until you start speaking to yourself, nothing can change. The change starts from within you. And that's why we are studying the word of God, and that's why we gave our lives to Christ, so that the word of God can encourage us to enter into that place where we begin to speak to our situation, to our circumstances, and to everything around us. In 1 Peter chapter 2, verse 9, what does it say? It says, but ye are what? A chosen generation. He calls us a chosen generation. We are chosen. Nobody has to tell us that. We ought to know that ourselves. Then he goes down, he says, you are a royal priesthood. Then he breaks it down. He says, you are what? A holy what? Nation. Then he goes down again to break it down. He says, you are a peculiar people. People that are different. People that must stand out. You will stand out in the name of Jesus. You will stand out in the name of Jesus. You will stand out in the name of Jesus. You will stand out in the name of Jesus. Yeah. He says, you are a peculiar people. Then see what he says that confirms all that. He says, that ye should show forth the praises of him who has called you out of where? Out of darkness into his what? Marvelous light. When Jesus said you are the salt of the earth and you are the light of the world, he wasn't making a mistake about you. Amen? He wasn't. He was saying what you have to be, what you are. You are the light of the world. You see, each and every one of us, we have our worlds. We are all in the same world, but we have your life. You become an attraction to many. You will receive that anointing tonight. You will receive that anointing tonight. You receive that anointing tonight. You receive such anointing tonight. Anointing that will make you become an attraction to many. Yeah. He says, see how he puts it? He says, you are a chosen generation. A royal priesthood a holy nation, a peculiar people that you should show forth the praises of him who has called you. What are those things you have to show forth? What are those things? An exemplary life. A phenomenal life. When they say you are phenomenal. When they say you are living an exemplary life. When, you are, when they say you are living a, a, a different life, you will receive such anointing in the name of Jesus Christ. And that anointing takes you into higher ground. It takes you into a better place. It takes you into a place of rest where you now see the future and you know the future, future is bright. It's bright. It's shining into your eyes. You, you have no choice but to start wearing sunglasses even in the night. Yeah. And people see you, they think you're drunk. No, you're not drunk. 
It's just that you are seeing the future from your physical eye. So you don't want the light that is shining ahead of you to blind your eyes. You begin to wear sunglasses. They say, ah, this one is Kolo. No, I'm not Kolo. I had the anointing that I'm going to do used to make exploits in this world. You will receive such anointing. You will receive such anointing. You will receive such anointing. In fact, it's coming down upon you now. Somebody will leave this place and come back with a testimony. Yeah! You will leave this place and come back with a testimony. Before the end of this month, you will testify. Before the end of this month, you will testify. Something big is coming your way. Receive it! Receive it! Receive it! Receive it! In the name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Quickly, let's see Psalm 18. Everything you're hearing is preparing into 2024, beginning from now. Everything. God is going to catapult you from where you are to your next level. Somebody's changing levels. I don't care who you are. They might look at you as a small boy, but that small boy will become a giant. Beginning from tonight, the anointing to become a giant is coming down upon you. Yeah. This is how we say it. And people come here, and in the next two months, they find themselves in the U.S. God changes their level. People come here, and in the next two months, they buy cars. It will happen to you tonight. That anointing that will catapult you from where you are to your next level is coming down upon you now. Receive it in the name of Jesus Christ. Yeah. Psalm 18 from verse 33. The book of Psalms. What does he say from verse 33? We're going to read down. It says, He maketh my feet like hands feet and setteth me upon high places. He teacheth my hands to war. The only way victory can come is when there is war. The only way you can win is when you have fought the battle. The only way you can pass the exam is when you have written the exam. If there is no writing of the exam, there is no result to show. You should crave for the battle. When Joshua saw the angel, he said, are you for us or are you against us? Tell me now. So that before you reach my family, you will kill me first. The angel saw his agitation and said, no, I am the host of the living God. He bowed down. This one is going to fight with me. That kind of spirit, a warrior spirit, is restless. The, the yoke cannot be destroyed. You need to get restless and tell yourself, I cannot remain the way my father has remained. I cannot remain the way my mother has remained. I cannot remain the way my family. I refuse negativity. I refuse poverty. I refuse setback. I refuse anything that will pull me down. I refuse it. I stand with the Spirit of God and I say, Lord, fight against them that fight against me. Take up shield and bow and go on my behalf. Spirits, move on my behalf and fight my battles. He said, he teacheth my hands to war. That's Psalm 18 verse 34. So that a bow of steel is broken by my arms. Thou hast also given me the shield of salvation, and thy right hand had holding me up, and thy greatness, thy greatness, thy greatness had made me great. Thou hast enlarged my steps under me, that my feet did not slip. I have pursued my enemies, and did what? Overtaking them. Neither did I turn again till they were consumed. Every power that is holding you down to nine, that power will be consumed. Rise on your feet and shout amen three times. Say after me, every power that has held me down in the past, to nine, I consume you in the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself. Begin to pray for yourself. Every power that has held me down in the past. Tonight, I consume you. I destroy you. Powers of setback. Powers of failure. 
powers of disappointments, powers of near success syndrome, powers of poverty, powers of lack. Anyhow, you have held me down. Tonight, I stand in the presence of God and I destroy you. I destroy you. I destroy you. Open your mouth and begin to pray. 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 Powers that has held me down. Tonight I consume you. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. Open your mouth and pray. This is the last moment of victory of the year. It is your turn to make that request to God. It is your season to make that request to God. Open your mouth and begin to pray. Masha Takatara has a good day. Rama Santa Katara has a good day. Rama Katara has Thank you, Lord Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name we pray. Say after me, anointing to be fruitful in life. I don't care whether you're a child, a man or woman. David was anointed king in the bush. As long as the anointing was upon his life, that anointing tormented him until he became king. Say after me, every anointing for fruitfulness. Anointing for fruitfulness. Come down upon me now. In the name of Jesus. Open your mouth and begin to pray for yourself. Anointing for fruitfulness. Come down upon me. Anointing to be fruitful in life. Come down upon me. Anointing to be fruitful tonight. Come down upon me. Fruitfulness on every side. Come down upon me. Come down upon my business. Come down upon my ministry. Come down upon my business. Come down upon my life. Come down upon the works of my hands. Come down upon my life. Come down upon my life. Masha Takatara has 